Good morning, welcome to Adi's another series lecture about electrical wiring simulator AWS. Today we're going to perform the third uh, main component or main title of our uh, electrical simulator, which is the magnetic conductors. Okay, so in this uh, menu or in these activities, we will discuss the basic operation and how are going to wire the basic uh, magnetic conductor circuits, which is uh, the prerequisite before we can wire the three-phase induction motor circuits. Okay, so let's explore first this magnetic conductors menu. Okay, click this one. So in this particular uh, option, as of the moment, we have eight uh, activities. So the first activity that we're going to do this morning is about the magnetic conductor. Okay, let's click the play and then the normal mode. So as what we can see in our uh, schematic diagram, we have this one. We have the source, the RST. So this is the circuit breaker. This is the circuit breaker here, the output of the circuit breaker. This one here, the circuit breaker part. And then we have here the fuse. So in this particular case, this one is the fuse holder. So this is for the line one, line two, and the line three. Okay, so this is the fuse one and then the, the fuse two. So in this particular activity, since we only be using the fuse one and fuse two, so we will be using this line here. This is the fuse one. This is the fuse two. Okay, and then we we will be using the normally open push button PB two. So in this particular case, this is one, and then we have the uh, coil of our magnetic conductor one, which is uh, in this particular case KM one. Okay, so this is the magnetic conductor. So let's discuss first the basic component of the magnetic conductor. So it would be better if we zoom in this one. Okay, so this portion here, the A1 and the A2, this one here is the coil. Okay, and then at this side here, this is the uh, normally open for uh, the power circuit which is directly connected to the loads such as the three-phase induction motor. So later on, we will discuss uh, this part uh, thoroughly. But in this particular case here, we have, as what we can see, let's try to zoom in. Okay, so we have here uh, this one, the 13, which is the normally open. So this value here, uh, this label here represents this button. Okay, and this 21 normally closed. For this one and then the 22 normally close is this one and then the 40 normally open is this one okay so what this uh nor this contacts the normally open and normally close contact means that if there is no current for or current flowing through the coil of this a1 and a2 this uh, normally close will have the normally close circuit and then this one here the normally open will be open however if there is a current flowing through a1 and a2 this normally close will open and then this normally open will close okay so later on we will do another activity to illustrate the functionality of this normally open and normally close but at, as of this moment we will only uh, connect first the a1 and a2 in our circuit okay so let's zoom out so let's discuss first the uh, electrical diagram that we will be using in this uh, short activity. So we have the circuit breaker, which is the output of our line one. Okay, so but uh, it would be better if we start the analysis from this line two, okay, to the circuit breaker. So this is the uh, the S part of the circuit breaker flowing through the fuse two and then this push button, which is normally open push button and then the coil of the K1. So it means that during that when we start our circuit breaker as of this moment the current will not be able to flow from this uh, s to the push button here to the k1 here because there is a normally open circuit here the current will not be able to flow okay however if we uh, switch if we push this pb2 okay so there will be a short circuit connection okay a closed loop connection between this line here and this line here hence the current now will now be able to flow from this line okay through this pb2 since we, we will be pressing this one if we press this one so the current now will now be able to flow to k1 hence activating this uh, contactor normally uh, if we press this one we will know that the contactor is activated because this part here will just uh, be pushed and then the most common sound you are going to hear the tuck. okay okay and then however if you're going to release this pb2 here this pb2 uh, this uh, KM1 or the coil of this KM1 will return to its de-energized state. Okay, let's recap again. If you press this one, the contactor will energize. Tuck, 
and all of the normally closed will open and all the normally open will close. Okay, however, if you release this one, it will go back to its initial state. Now, let's try to wire this one and try the functionality of the circuit. Okay, so first, we're going to connect this one from our, this is the RSD, so we connect first the S going to the input of the fuse. Okay, so the R at the S, so this one here, the input of our S, so output of the circuit breaker is this one. Okay, so click and then click. Next. We have to connect, okay, same with what we did in the previous activity. We have to connect it step by step, okay, one wire at a time. So after this one here, the output of the fuse, we'll connect it to the input of the PB2. But in this particular case here, it is labeled number three. Okay, so the output of fuse, which is this one here, will be connected to the input of the, which is number three. But in this particular case, since there is number three, we'll connect this one in the input. Okay, and then the output of our PB2, the, this one here, we will connect this one to the A1, the A1 of our magnetic conductor. So the A1 of our magnetic conductor is, is here. Okay, so we have to connect the other pin or the terminal of the push button here. Okay, so this one, connect this one, oops, undo. Okay, so click this one, that one. And then let's zoom this one, and then let's connect this one to, to A1, okay? So undo again, okay? A1, connect that one, and then let's connect this one to A1. Connect this one to A1, okay? Next is we have to connect the A2. This one here is the A2. Let's connect this one to the output of the fuse, okay, which is uh, this one here, the output fuse for our line 1, okay? So click this one, okay? And then let's connect this one to the output of our line 1, okay? So after the fuse, go back to the fuse here. So that wire represents this wire here. Then after that one, we are going to connect this one to the output of our circuit breaker for line R. Okay, or the line one. So which is, in this particular case here, this one here. Okay, so let's take a look at the whole diagram. Okay, so it seems that uh, it's correct. So click the submit button to check the wiring of our circuit. Click. So passed. So it means that we got the five wires connected correctly. So if you're going to press this one, Okay, so as of this moment, you will not be able to hear, hear the wire because of the software that we are using. However, if you perform this one in the circuit or in the electrical wiring simulator or EWS, you will be able to hear a sound when you click this one and then tuck. Okay, and then release. Tuck. Click again. Tuck. So it means that when you click this one, this magnetic contactor will be energized. And then in, if you release this uh, push button here, the normally open push button, this magnetic contactor will return to its original state, which is the de-energized state. Okay. So in the next lecture, we will be using the normally open and normally closed contact. Okay. So see you in the next lecture.